Hey everyone, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps, and uh, we're back doing part one of what will be like a three or four part series. I'm uh, putting together one last gift set for the holiday season, and I've ordered my packaging and my labels, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to package up a artisan soap bar with a lotion bar in a tin and two um, bath bombs made with the moon cake presses uh, that will match the scent of the soap. Um, I think the lotion bar, I'm going to do a different fragrance only because it's, it's lotion. We might like to go with that nice Huggies fragrance. I think I'm going to do that in Huggies fragrance. So, um, but anyway, part one is doing the soap and that's what we're doing today. And I have two of these loaf molds and I'm probably going to end up making, I only have two of these, so I'll probably end up making uh, two batches of this, maybe one today and, and one in a couple days. But uh, anyway, um, my plan for this, if all goes well, is to do like half the bar, uh, the bottom half in a purple. I want to do a gold mica line on top of the purple. And then on top of that's going to be a blend of uh, white, uh, lime green, pink slippers, and uh, magenta mica. So we're going to do kind of in the pot swirl and then pour on top of our mica line. And then I'm going to drizzle some of the leftover oils, hopefully, if I can... I have enough time to do that <laughs> on the top and we'll do a nice little swirl and maybe add a little bit of glitter on the top. Uh, so that's my plan. We're fragrancing these in peppermint candy. Uh, so it's a nice fun one for Christmas. I love the, the smell. Um, so that's, that's the plan. So first I'm going to strain my lye water because I noticed I have a little bit of bits in here. Just a few little tiny bits. And I'm soaping at room temperature. So, hopefully, things don't thicken on me too quickly. Anyway, I've got my gloves on, I've got my goggles on, and I think. If I got my head on straight, I think we're ready to go. So, <laughs> anyway, we'll get to blending this now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour off about, I think, 35 to 40 ounces uh, to get that bottom layer in both of those molds. Which is just about half. get this too thick because I want to have time to work with it. So first I'm just going to continue to hand stir this and then I'm going to pour off what I need for the base and start coloring and fragrancing that. So I've got my scale here. Tear that, and like I said, pour off about 35 to 40 ounces, I think. I will make it 40. Okay, just a hair over 40. So that, I'm going to move my scale here out of the way because I don't need that anymore. 
So that we're doing in this dark purple playhouse. So I'm going to pour pretty much all of that in there. And about half of my fragrance oil. And we'll give that a good stirring by hand. Actually, you know what, I think, I think this one, on the other hand, I'm going to give it a little zhuzh with the blender because I want this one to be a little thicker to support the weight of the soap on top. So we'll give it a bit, of, a bit more blending. trying to work quickly but not be too sloppy because I want this to be a really pretty bar. Take that off and we'll bring over our molds and I just want to pour like half in each. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Rest in this one. Trying to be neat here. Try and clean this out really good. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing so hard. I wish sometimes I really, I've said this before, I wish I had a cameraman. But unfortunately, I do not. Okay, so we're just going to give it a little shimmy and give that a stir and get on to my mica line. I don't want mica to get all over the place, but it usually does. So, so we'll start here on the end. Need a little bit more in that one. Okay. That's it for that container. Good thing I have another one. So this is a little darker gold, but will still look nice. Pretty good here for our mytho line. And next, checking, we're still really fluid here. So let me move these to the side for a second. And what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to pour off a little bit into three of these. And I'll use what's left over in here to be the white. So, let's see, one, two, oops, three. We'll get a little bit more in the first one. Okay. So, oops, come on, not the neatest. Okay, so we're going to do our magenta, our pink slippers. So there's magenta. Our pink slippers. Usually I use Kermit Green, which is, you know, really pretty much about the same as this Lime Green, if you ask me. They're pretty close. And we we'll just put our white titanium dioxide in there. Just set this here for a second. And I'm going to do our fragrance oil in each that's it for that and I wish I should have kept one with water in it that's the only thing when you start blending with one color anyway I'm sure people will have something to say so anyway, we're going to give our white a zhuzh and then move on down the line. Give a blender a little burp, a little burp. Okay, there's our white, green. something to my Christmas list. I need more of those little spatulas. Our pink slippers. And our magenta. Dokey. Now, if I can get this off. Um, spoon. Spoon. Okay, so I'm just making sure this is fluid. I want to make sure also that I'm still in frame here. I'm in frame there. Let me see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just start pouring here and there. With each one. Green here, in between. Nice, it's just going to be a little swirl. 
of all these different colors. Doesn't look very pretty right now, but I'm hoping that it'll look pretty when we're done. And a final lighter pink, the pink slippers. It's a really pretty color. All right, so we're just going to kind of take our spoon here and drag it around and now we're going to try and pour so hopefully we don't break through but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoon in at first hopefully not making too much of a mess. And then I'm going to tamp this down a bit. Just to get that mica line covered up. And then we'll pour gently. And again. And we'll do our scraping of the bowl just to get that good to the last drop on top. We'll give it another tamp. I'm going to tamp this down on the floor here. Just to get it a little level there. Uh, then, so I can see, I'm just going to drizzle what I have left of some of these... Uh, micas in oil around on the top okay and just a little bit of green I've got my, um, oh, here, do I have some of this? I have some dark purple. Okay. I have my, uh, let me get my, zoom you in a little bit on this. pretty little swirls back and forth across the top and then around the edges just once doing some nice tight swirls here Take that out just a quick 
quick little again. And I think, I think, yes, I have my little gold mica. And I'm just going to put like one like wiggly or maybe just a couple drops here and there. And let's see, maybe we can just kind of, you know, starting to thicken on me here already. Okay, that's good. And here we go. The final, of course, little bit of glitter on top. Nothing too crazy. Not like some of my cupcakes, you don't have to make it swim and glitter. But anyway, now for the fun part, cleaning up. <laughs> so that's our, our peppermint candy soap. Now we'll come back tomorrow and we'll cut it and see what we got. Hopefully something lovely. And uh, that will be part one of our new gift set. Um, I also wanted to say uh, thank you for all your support on my last video when I vented. I really wasn't looking for everybody to go, oh, but you're wonderful and we love your name. And, and I, just, I just was kind of venting to the nasty people out there. <laughs> but thank you anyway. I do appreciate all your support. And uh, it was really nice to see you know, all the good people that are out there. Uh, there's only a few of the nasties, but they can be quite nasty. So anyway, I do appreciate the support. And uh, so anyway, thank you again. Uh, but we'll be back in uh, just a second for you. It'll be tomorrow for me to uh, cut this into some nice bars. And then, like I said, I'm probably going to have to do another batch of two loaves because of all the gift sets I want to make. So, anyway, we'll give you a quick close-up flyby, like we always do. Hopefully, we can get in focus here. Isn't that pretty? Look at all those colors on the top from the mica. It'll probably be more pretty on the top than it will be inside. <laughs> anyway... There we go, and we'll be back in a moment to cut these up. Okay, we're back and we're ready to cut. I popped these out of the mold, and you can see the nice straight line we've got going there. We'll see what we get on the inside. It might be a little muddied because, well, just because of uh, the amount of colors I put into the white. You know, next time, my next batch, I'm not going to put quite so much there. But isn't that pretty? You can see the nice straight mica line there. And I think it looks gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. My lighting's not the best in here. Get some. Hey, hey, hey. Now my dog's playing. Six o'clock in the morning. He thinks he's got to play. Anyway. It does look like a nice bar of soap. It smells nice and sweet. And uh, this will be the first item that goes into our gift sets that I'm going to be making. So today I'll probably be doing another 
another two lobes of this. And uh, I'll probably go lighter on the, the colors just to um, so you can see more of the of a swirl in there. But uh, it turned out pretty good. So I won't sit here and make, oh, see the tops. The tops are really pretty. Uh, I won't make you sit here and wait uh, to do all of the cut. I'll just finish doing the cutting and then take a picture for the, the main view of this video. So thanks again for watching and stay tuned for part two of our uh, gift sets. Uh, which will probably be our lotion bars. Uh, we're going to do a solid lotion bar in a snowflake shape, which is going to be going into a tin. I don't have the tins yet. I'll be getting those next week, I think. But uh, that will be the, probably the next video that I do. So until then... Thanks again for watching. Check us out over on Facebook at Dirty Booty Soaps. And if you're on Instagram, we're there as well. So you all have a wonderful day. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.